This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, what is up with Gucci Man and Army Vets? I mean, this is the second incident I heard of Gucci Man in an Army Vet. Like, a couple years ago, he smashed a bottle over Army Vet's head, and now he's accused, a veteran is accusing Gucci Man of kicking him out of his seats at a Falcon game. Now, let's first go back to the first assault, okay? This was uh, March 23rd, 2013. Okay, I guess they were in a club. Uh, and they issued a warrant for Gucci's arrest after this. But uh, he was sought after an assault on a fan who was recently returned soldier from Afghanistan. Uh, Gucci hit, hit the guy over the head with a bottle after he asked for a picture. I guess Gucci Man was in like the VIP section of Harlem Nights in Atlanta. And he asked if he could get a photo with Gucci. And then the assault occurred. Uh, the guy said, I'm, I'm in the military. I want to get a picture with Gucci Man. Is it okay? And he was celebrating his birthday. And he asked the security guard. I was speaking to the security guard and Gucci Man hit me in the head with a bottle. That was crazy. I did. So I was like, ah, this must have been a mistake. You know, like Gucci Man probably was, you know, under the influence. He said he was doing a lot of drugs back then. So uh, maybe he was under the influence. Well, now again, another <laughs> incident with Gucci Man, and uh, he's ki kicking a person out of their seats at a Falcons game. Now this is all according to TMZ right here. He said uh, uh, this is last Sunday during the Atlanta Falcons Green Packers NFC Championship game. A veteran claimed to be removed by Gucci Man and his fiance Keisha Quar. Uh, the veteran, Charles Harris, said he and his family were approached by Gucci and his wife to be about, uh, and said that's their seats, and they were asked to move. Uh, Harris went to get to, like, the Georgia Tome attendant to resolve the matter, and they sided with Gucci Man. Now, this guy was there to uh, be honored, also, for his service to the country. Uh, the went to, he went to get the supervisor to handle the situation. And it resulted in him staying in the seats that belonged to him in the first place. So that's good. Um, he noted that uh, he wasn't the only one affected, saying that it messed up part of the part about his mom had hip surgery. So while she was sitting there, after she came up and said, these are our seats, yeah, I guess I hurt her or something. I don't know. But anyways, Keisha, Keisha was standing there yelling, yo, you need to hurry up and move. Y'all need to hurry up. They said Gucci Man was cool, though. So let's give him that. Uh, maybe it was just his girl making a stink. Because I don't think, I think Gucci Man's more uh, calm and collected now that he's not on drugs. Uh, and, you know, I think his girl's still like on some turn up shit. Like she feels entitled. I don't know, I don't know what's up. But, uh, you know, maybe it was just another misunderstanding. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower reporting the news as much as possible. Dale. Jordan, Jordan Tower, Tower Films, Films. Jordan, Jordan Tower, Tower Films.